Let's look at some variations on basic cavity mount technique. If you have some eighth or quarter inch ethofoam, you can cut a liner to go in the bottom of your tray under the bed instead of batting. This gives you a soft, uniform surface under the Tyvek. It's especially useful if your specimens are robust and you're cutting multiple cavities in one tray. If you're sinking multiple specimens of varying depths in the same tray, try this. Once you've got a specimen silhouette cut out, pop it back in the hole and push it down to the depth you want the specimen to sit at. Then, just flip the bed over and shave the excess foam off the back. If you want, you can tack the plug in place with a little low melt hot glue, but only from the back. Don't glue it to the sides of the cavity. You could also use a heat gun to fuse it to the bed. You can use the same technique to countersink subtrays and boxes into the bed. If you want to vary the depth of a cavity to conform to a very uneven specimen, you can cut the plug into sections and fine tune the depth of each. This technique of reinserting the silhouette can help you get a really tightly upholstered cavity. Here's what you do. You have your trimmed plug in the cavity, and this is important, do not glue it to the walls of the cavity. Cut an extra generous piece of Tyvek. Crumple it. Then hold the Tyvek firmly against the floor of the cavity. Take your mini spatula and tuck the Tyvek into the gap where the wall and the floor of the cavity meet. As you tuck, try to keep the Tyvek evenly distributed. Try to avoid big folds. Then tuck the Tyvek into the slit around the rim. As you do this, be careful not to pull out the inner tuck. Pressing the Tyvek to the bottom of the cavity will help. Take your cuticle scissors and trim the excess fringe. Then tuck the remainder into the slit. The end result will be a cavity mount where the Tyvek fits like a glove.